see one of my last videos where we went, I went out and uh, trapped a beaver swamp. There's a new one I ain't never been to before. I'm back here and it's froze over. I got my friend Cody here and we're gonna see if we can get out. I walked out to it here just a second ago. Oh, so I know I can make it there. Just getting past this first. Oh, she's deep. <laughs> In there. <laughs> it's deep. All right, we'll get it. I'm gonna get out there real quick. See their runs. When you look for, gotta keep going through in this thin stuff. If you're trapping underneath the ice, the two th main things you want to look for is uh, bubbles underneath the ice or clear ice. I mean, you can see the bubbles underneath there, and that's from them exhaling or bringing oxygen out of the the lodge right there get stuck up in their fur but you can see their run I mean it's clear as day there's a beaver run there oh. all right I know this is a beaver run here for sure oh god I gotta get in here because like I said you can see the the clear uh, clear ice and the bubbles yeah I got a good entrance going in right here slide me a trap Whenever I set beaver traps, I always set the the trigger right on the very last last little notch. Whenever you do it too, don't forget to wire off your safeties. I have missed beaver because of that one time, and I'll never do that again. All right, so I'm gonna hold on to my chain here. I got a chain on this one. I usually have wire on them, but this is an older trap. You used to use chain. I'm gonna get my foot down and in, and you'll feel the indent. You stick your foot and just hope a beaver don't come screaming out of there, because I will be like Jesus, and I will walk out water if that happens. Find my entrance again. It's like right here, it's right there. So I'll take my, when beaver come out, they come out straight on the bottom. I'm not going to be able to get this all the way back and in because of this log here, this branch. I don't think I can move it. Nope. So I'm going to pick the trap up, get it kind of lined up, push it down and in. That should be good there. There. So that one's set. Looks like there's another one over there, but then right here oh yeah I can feel this is a big run because my foot's right here and the ground's already starting to go back up so I'm guessing what they're doing is they're coming out and they're pretty much heading that way because it's all deeper here looks like they're heading out this way too but I'm thinking if I come right here you see all their their chewings and stuff too I don't know where their food cache should be because I don't think, well, they can get out and crawl across the ice. If this ever freezed up, they need a food source to get out. What they do is come out of their lodge, go over their little food pile, grab a branch, take it back and in, and then they just spit the stuff back out. But I can see a lot of their chewings around here, which is a good sign. Let's see if I can get over here. I bet you I could set six or eight traps on this, just this lodge. I'm almost positive that was a beaver right there. God, that just scared the shit out of me. Can't believe I'm sticking my foot in here when I know there's a beaver right there. That'd be funny if we caught one in that trap as we're here. The back side of this lodge is just flat right here. I'm gonna look and see if I can. Oh, that looks deep right there. I don't think I'll get there. So we had, uh, we set that one trap you seen. The battery had died on the camera right before Cody was going to swing around. He's seen this guy headed right for the trap. 
he swam right into it. There's another beaver out there. He's a, an adult. This is a kid, I believe. It could be a two-year-old. I think it's a kid, a little small. But we were watching a, uh, an adult out there swimming around just nonstop. It's almost like he didn't even care that we were there. Cody almost had it because it's so cold out that the battery on these cameras just can't keep up. So we didn't get it actually on film, but this we caught him. We tried screwing around, setting a few more traps. We got four set out there now, but this guy, we got him uh, about 15 minutes after we got out there. That trap wasn't in the water about five minutes. We already caught him. If you've seen it, I think we got it on film. Uh, I, I kicked one out as I was kind of trying to look for a, a, a run going in. I think it was this guy because we got him going back in. But we got one beaver. We're going to go ahead to another swamp and set some more. Behind the scenes for <laughs> Bloopers when I fall in the water. Yeah, okay, we're live. <laughs> ah, that ain't a beaver, that's just mud right there. Oh, uh, it was tripped. They stuck a stick through it. Look at that, they were dragging a stick in and tripped it. That sucks. We'll set that, put it back in there though. <laughs> uh, I might feel one. Yep, I got him. Oh, it looks like a big one. Nope, that's, that's another, probably this year's kit. Look bigger underwater. I'm gonna reset these two though. We got, this is a, it's a little choke point right here. I know there's an entrance here and I think there's a few more over there. They got a, we, I don't know how we didn't see it yesterday, but they got a food cache right there. So what they'll do is like that trap there, they went out, grabbed a stick, brought it back in. And then as they're going up in to go eat the, the stick, they trip that trap. Don't know if I'll get one back in that run or not. It might make, you know, usually if you trip a trap and you don't get the beaver, they kind of become uh, trap smart. So we'll see, I'm gonna set this. It's, I don't know if I'll be able to get any, it's, it's too deep out here behind me. And I don't know about over there, but this is my two best options on this lodge. So we're gonna, we left our trap setters on that other lodge over there. So I'll just, I'll leave this guy in here for now. And then, uh, We'll go over, check them. Two traps over there. What was that? I don't know. That was weird. You brought your gun with you, didn't you? Nope. I didn't either. <laughs> All right. We're going to... What is that? Oh, well. We're gonna go check this lodge and then uh, we'll come back and set these two traps. Oh no, it's a tail. Mm -hmm. Yep, we did get one. We just set this trap as, I mean, just kind of a Hail Mary set. Look at my H stand all the way out there. Yeah, no, this ain't the Hail Mary set. This is the one we watched that beaver swimming around and watched him swim in this lodge. Yeah, you remember I couldn't really find the run though? Oh yeah. Yep. I would just kind of set it and hope for the best. That's a big tail. Oh, look at that tail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we. This is him. I didn't bring my rubber gloves either. Oh, yeah. That's a big boy. Oh. This is a big boy. Oh. Ah, that is a good sized beaver. Catch. That is perfect. It don't last long like that. Which look at that. Look how bent that thing is. I'll bend it back and we'll reset this one. Good thing is, is my trap setters are right there. <laughs> oh my god. This boy's big. That's got to be the heaviest beaver. 
I've caught yet. I didn't bring my scale either. Look at big old mittens on him. It's a big tail too. That's one of my bigger beavers. I'm gonna get this trap. I try to. I don't know. It's, eh, I ain't worried about it. I'll just set the trap back on there. I'm gonna put this right back in the water there. We'll catch catch a couple more out of here. We'll we'll call it good because I don't want to trap all of them. I like coming out and doing this. I trap all the beaver. There won't be nothing left. Oh, I got two in there. Well, actually three because we got the one yesterday. But this uh, we got the I got the three traps that because I didn't have my insulated waders. I got to hopefully get them fixed for tomorrow. One of the the uh, entrances going in. I don't know if I have it set right on. I couldn't get down in the water to kind of feel their run. It was the one that was tripped with the, the stick in it. So hopefully there ain't a trap smart beaver out there now. Hopefully it was like this guy or this one that just got hit and then uh, ended up getting them in another trap. This thing, I, I'm gonna weigh this guy. I don't know, He's we're thinking he's over 60 pounds probably. He's he's extremely heavy. This is this year's kit. This is a definitely an adult. I mean, it's it's massive. I mean, his tail, that's a size 11 weighter. It's, I mean, just look at how big that tail is compared to that. He's gonna have a lot of meat. We're gonna get him skinned. Cody's gonna skin this one and he's gonna have a, a round skin made out of it for his wall. And then uh, we're gonna, there's probably, there's over 20 pounds of meat on this guy for sure. And if we, uh, we eat all of it. It's not like we just come out here and trap because we want to kill stuff for the fur. I could care less about the fur, to be honest with you. It all gets eaten and used as much as possible. I use a lot of the organs in my dog's food. I do a raw dog food diet with them. So it's free, free meals for them. And then uh, I get free meals and we get fur. So we're gonna get these guys put away and we're gonna come back tomorrow and check these again. I just got back to this uh, first beaver lodge we set and that put the, I had that trap that was setting that run right there. It's, I got another beaver, he's a two year old. I got him actually coming away from the lodge, headed out into the, uh, out into the swamp out there. And I got Cody. Where's Cody? He's back there. He's scared to walk on the ice. But I, this uh, other trap here, I'm going to pull this one. We're trying not to catch them all. We're going to pull this. I'm going to reset this one. I'm going to go check that other lodge and then see if we got more. But it's damn cold out and my feet are freezing. So I'm going to get this done with real quick. All right, so it was really cold out there. Uh, I literally, my feet were so cold. I didn't have my insulated waders because they had a hole in them. I got them patching right now, so they should be good for tomorrow. We ended up getting another big beaver out of that other lodge. I just, I, did, I couldn't take the camera with me. I couldn't even hardly move my hands. I left Cody back on the shore just because the ice was making some crazy noise. I'd walk on it and I could hear it split probably 200 feet away. <laughs> I was like, man, I said, stay here just in case, you know, if I go through at least one of us can still do some, we can't both do some if we're both, uh, you know, down through the ice. We ended up getting two, uh, two big beavers. I got it. It was, uh, probably a two year old and, uh, an adult, a good size adult, but we got actually, there's four of them up there, but I don't know what ones I'm going to put in what videos, but we ended up getting this guy here. He's I can't really tell through the camera, but it's a real red color. I don't know that I've ever caught one this red before. And then we got this guy here. See if I can get him in. That one there is the one I caught in the other lodge that you didn't see me film. But it was this guy here and that guy there. They're real good sized beavers. I was real, real happy with that out of that swamp. We got one one trap left. I don't want to catch them. I don't think we even made a den out there to be honest with you, but I don't want to catch them all. So I'm going to check that one trap tomorrow that I left. And if there's anything in it, you know, good. If not, I'm still going to pull it anyway. All right, I'm not going to show the skinning or nothing. So we'll, uh, we'll go check that one trap tomorrow, see what I got and how we did. And we'll go from there. Well, 
that's that for this swamp. I just went out and checked my last trap. We just had that one set out there on that lodge. I didn't have nothing in it. I kind of figured, I think they're getting a little little smart to where the trap was. Uh, we caught two, two in there, I think. I think out of this swamp, we caught what, two, three, five? Five or six, I can't remember now. Some big ones, though. we had two kits, but it was a good, uh, Good trip for this swamp. If you never trap beaver through ice, I mean, it's it's not the easiest, but it's it's not too hard. Uh, the three big things to look for are uh, clear ice, bubbles under the ice, or thin ice. All will lead you somewhere to where beaver are, either out of a lodge or in and out of a bank den, or just a run, just a random run to their say their food cache or something. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I hope uh, hope you got some ideas. I'll uh, I'll see you in the next one.